yes sir mumbai public school dmc education department presents online education welcome students how are you all i hope you all are safe and enjoying at your home dear students myself aparna shinde from mps charkop sector 2 welcomes you in today's lesson today we are going to learn from the subject play do and learn and our today's topic is water literacy the meaning of literacy here means to gain more knowledge before starting our topic i would like to tell you one story see students mother is asking who left the tap open oh i see have i told you about ran the goat and what he did with his water tap so students here the mother is going to tell the story about sheep and a goat the name of the goat was ran and the name of the sheep was janet they both were neighbors see it was a lazy sunday morning when ran the goat got call from his neighbor janet the sheep janet had just returned from a holiday and she wants to share all the memories and all the fonts with ran she had made an album with all the photos she took ran put his shirt on quickly and got ready he changed his shirt and he got ready he was just about to leave when his mother asked him ha ran you forgot to turn the tap off see ran has put the tap on and he forgot to off the tap ran look at the flooded bathroom her mom was mopping see when the tap was open so many lot water get wasted ran said sorry but it was not enough his father decided to give him punishment and he told him to wash his car ran was in hurry he decided to clean the car with the pipe with the hose suddenly janet called him from her house she shouted hey ran i have this album for you please come over soon ran threw the hose on the ground and went to meet janet he threw the pipe as it is and he ran away the album was quite interesting and beautiful janet talk about each photos and the story behind it ran was excited all this while the water from the hose was flowing toward the driveway see as he left the pipe on all the water was wasting through this hose through this pipe then janet's mother asked them if they want to go to the beach now they are going to the beach for picnic ran got excited and went back to his house to take a bath and get ready half way into the bath water stopped coming from the tap then ran is all covered with bubbles and soap ran ask his mother the reason so ran ask that why water is not coming his mom goes to check and what she saw that water tank is empty why the water tank is empty students because whole water was wasted and he had to wash himself with very little water left in the bucket 
he goes to janet house and sees her dad with a repairing taps or what janet told fan that they don't waste water she what she said that they never waste water soon they leave for the beach on the on their way they see horse uncle sweeping his driveway see in this picture horse uncle is sweeping his car with the cotton cloth he is not using water and he is not wasting the water also janet's mom says it's good to uh, wipe our car with a cotton cloth instead of wasting water they also stopped and talked to susan aunty see in this picture also susan aunty is giving water to the plant with the water can she is not using the pipe or a uh, she is not wasting a water who was watering her garden with a watering can when they reach the beach ran asked look at all the water why are people worried about water storage he saw so many water and he was asking that there are so many water then why the people are saying uh, save the water and we should not waste the water then janet's mom asked him to test the water and when he tasted the water it was too salty then he realized he come to know that it is unfit for use we can't use this water janet and ryan spent the day playing on the sand and swimming in the sea but after that he decided not to waste water anymore and save more and more water from next day on words ran used the leftover water in his bottle to water the plants he gave the water to plants he never threw the water here and there he also made a narrow canal from the kitchen drain to the flower bed he also made a watering can by making holes in a can just like one susan aunty had ran now learn how to save the water for bath also he now used only a bucket of water now dear students have you understood the story that how ran learn to save the water so in this lesson we are going to learn about the uses of water dear students water is one of the most important substance required to live on earth water is used in day to day life for many purposes such as drinking cook, cooking bathing washing clothes etc dear students water is also used for agriculture purpose as well as water is used to produce electricity water is required for all living things in the world water is an important part of our lives we need water for our daily uses in this picture you can see students that water is required for many purposes now we will see one by one plants birds and animals also need water to live see here plants animals birds also needs water to live drinking water is used for drinking purposes every day we should e drink more than 8 to 10 glasses of water and we should drink clean and fresh water water is used for washing clothes again water is used for watering plants here water is used for cooking purpose also the farmer also needs water to plug the field 
and as i told you that water is also used to produce electricity but dear students do you know from where we get the water so the main source of water is rain yes rain fall brings water on the earth and we all enjoy watching rainbows spread in the sky isn't it students and we all enjoy rainy season dear students here i would like to recite a short poem on rainy day okay see here when monsoon arrives the river also get flooded so the name of our poem is what fun to go out on a rainy day i know that you all also like rainy season see what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 birds are singing in their nest it's raining 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 frogs are hopping at their best it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 birds are singing in their nest it's raining 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 frogs are hopping at their best it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 ducks are quacking to the bed it's raining 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 some are waddling on the feet it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 ducks are quacking to the bed it's raining 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 some are waddling on the feet it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 everyone is out to play it's raining 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 everyone is out to play it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day everyone is out to play it's raining 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 everyone is out to play it's raining 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 what fun to go out on a rainy day on a rainy day on a rainy day what fun to go out on a rainy day it's raining 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 it's raining 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 it's raining 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 so dear students do you like the poem i hope you all enjoyed the poem now let's move forward see students these are also sources of water this is the ocean this is the lake this is the pond this is the river and these are the streams this all are the sources of water see this is the tank we store water in tank also this is the dam see these are the ponds this is the lake this is the stream dams and wells are made to store rain water yes students we can store rain water in dams and wells there is the water treatment plant students where the water is clean and purified and pumped into the big water tank and the when water is clean and purified through the pipes it is stored into the big tanks and then it is sent to our homes offices and schools through 
pipe and at our home we get water through tap and at our home we store water in tanks in buckets and these are the household utensils in which we store the water and the utensils should be clean and washed properly see students in this picture what can you see see how these women are washing the clothes here a man is bathing his cow here the student here the boys are playing they are bathing in the water goats are drinking the water and these people are carrying the water to their home but students this water is not safe for drinking when we will drink this water we will suffer from the diseases like jaundice chlorella etc so in many villages cows buffaloes and goats came to the water or pond to drink water grasses and other bushes can be seen growing near the rivers ponds etc and people brings their cattle for bathing various birds can be seen around the water source and people from the village wash water to use at home so this is not safe to drink this water see students there are the some causes of water pollution pollution means water gets dirty polluted washing clothes near a river or lake bathing cattles and animals in the river also causes water pollution and the third reason is that waste products from the factories and gutters dumped into the water see students factories are producing so many things so they throw the their chemical waste and that waste get mixed into the river and hence the water get polluted so before drinking our water we should purify the water so there are are some steps of purifying first one is we should boil the water at least for 20 minutes before use water we should boil it see here a cotton cloth is used to purify the water if you fold cotton clothes two three times and filter the water the clean water will come down and the dust will remain on the top now next are the ready made filters these filters are easily available in the market which we can use to filter the water so you get a ready made filter in the market which you can use to filter the water see fix the filter to the tap to get pure water with the help of this filter also we can get a pure water now students if we want to drink water we should use the tap okay the water in the glass should be filled from the tap do not hold the glass with your finger and dip it in the vessel now students this is our responsibility to save the water we should save we should use bucket for bathing instead of shower as it can save lot of water in the story also you saw na how ran has decided to use bucket instead of using shower turn off the tap while brushing and washing hands use it only when required there should be no leakage in the toilets and bathrooms if there is any leakage get it fixed immediately to save water and turn off the tap while washing utensils now students you are bringing water bottles in school okay you have to drink whole water but in case water is left in your water give that water to plants don't throw left or water here and there and students as you know that we can also store the rain water see here in this picture how the man is washing the car through the pipes so it is the wrong way it waste lots of water
now students see a clean water looks like a mirror so it is our duty it is our responsibility to keep our water bodies clean now students let us see about the aquatic animals what is mean by aquatic animals the animals which lives in water are known as aquatic animal or water animals now let's see which are the aquatic animals see fish fish is an aquatic animal shark next is crocodile next is octopus now this is a blue whale this is a turtle this is the starfish see this is a dolphin and this is the penguin these all are the aquatic animals now students can you imagine the life without water my god see how the trees get dried there will be no aquatic life fish will dry if there will be no water and see how the land will look the land will look like barren okay so in the absence of water on our planet our planet will look like a desert place there will be no greenery no rivers no waterfalls and there will be no fun in our life and our life will become uninteresting that's why it is our responsibility to save water thus our life without water will be very difficult and complicated so dear students it is our responsibility to save water and to keep the water bodies clean now students let's take review that what we have learned in this lesson we have learned that all living things need water to stay alive yes as we learn that all living things need water to stay alive we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water a day a day means every day we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day we should drink clean water only we also learn that we need water for cooking washing cleaning and brushing our teeth we learn that water is also used to put out fire we get water from rain and rain water has to be stored we dig wells and make dams to store rain water and we should keep our water bodies clean and we should never waste water yes all things we have just learned now again i will read this for you all living things need water to stay alive we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day we should drink clean water only and we need water for cooking washing cleaning and brushing our teeth and water is also used to put out a fire we get water from rain and rain water has to be stored we dig wells and make dams to store rain water and we should keep our water bodies clean and we should never waste water this all things we have learned in today's lesson now let's see the question answers okay answer the following questions now this is is your evolution time which is the main source of the water students can you tell from where we get the water so the answer of this question is rain rain is the main source of water now second question is tell the names of two aquatic animals and the answer of this question is two aquatic animals are fish and turtle here you can add the name of a uh, shark dolphin penguin etc now third question is that 
Why do cows, buffaloes, and goats come to the source of water? And the answer of this question is cow, buffalo to drink water. Who need water? The answer of this question is all living things need water. So, dear students, can you see in your screen? Then what is the first question? Which is the main source of water? Can you answer this question? Which is the main source of water? Rain is the main One by one you have to give answer, students. And parents are not allowed to give the answer. Please let the students give. Tell the name of two aquatic animal. And the two aquatic animals are fish and turtle. Which are the two aquatic animal? Fish and turtle. Yes. Why do cows, buffaloes and goats come to the buffalo and goats come to the source of water to drink water and the last question is who need water the answer is all living things need water now students this is your homework time see what you have to do you have to draw a picture of water drops falling in the bucket and give the title about save water so first of all, you have to give the title, Save Water. After that, draw a picture of bucket and draw the water drops falling in that bucket. Okay. So in this way, students, we have learned about literacy of water. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. Thank you for watching, students. So, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening and attending this today's lecture. Thank you very much.